of WinTAX 4, which is a program we use for viewing our data logs when using a Magneti Morelli ECU. So we'll start by getting our program open. Okay, we have some data on the screen. And let me start out by explaining the very basics and we'll just kind of walk through information as we do. Each trace or each line on the page represents a channel from our ECU, a channel that we've selected to data log. White is RPM. Red is intake pressure. Green is lambda. Yellow is gear and a turquoise color is throttle. Okay, we have a scale on the left side of the screen which basically gives us a range of value according to each channel. On the right side of the screen we'll see we have what we call our cursor value window. It shows each channel's value wherever our cursor is placed. Now we can move the cursor by moving the mouse and left clicking or we can actually use the arrow tabs to move our mouse or our cursor left and right. We can also use the up and down mouse key to adjust the sensitivity or how big of a jump our cursor moves. That way you can pinpoint the exact area you're trying to get that data from. Again, both options, left and right, can be turned off. If we come down to the bottom and we go to View, Cursor Values, we can turn off. As well as Y Scale. You can come in here and you can turn many features on and off to change the software to suit your liking. Each channel that we select or that we view comes from our channel browser. Our channel browser can be found if we come up here right next to our data browser button. We have our channel browser button. We turn that on, we have our channel browser. This box has a list of all the information that we're allowed to view in WinTex. comes from our setup in another program so it's our choices but right now this is what we're limited to when in Wintex and when we're viewing data if you want to change them you can get rid of them by coming over left clicking on it hitting delete you can basically bring another one out similar just left click on it drag it drop it We're allowed five channels per graph window. Graph window is a black graph we're looking at and is represented by a tab along the bottom of the page. Each tab represents a different graph window. And you'll notice I name my graph tabs or my graph windows accordingly to the data I've broken down into groups by engine vitals, boost control, tuning, and I have a spare. Maybe you only have one graph window and you only have five channels right now. And thinking, man, it would sure be handy if I could add another graph window and add some more channels to this thing so I could really figure out what's going on. So let's do a walkthrough. If you want to add another graph window, we come down to the bottom. We hit tab. And we have the layout wizard. We want to select one graph window, and then we want to hit create. When you hit create, this is what you get. We have an empty graph window. Again, to populate channels, we come over to our channel browser, left click, drag and drop. We can drag everything out. 
that we would like to see. Probably wondering why we have a white graph window here and all my other graph windows are black. That's because I've previously went in and set up to change the colors and selected black background. So let's do a walkthrough and, and explain to you how to change and customize the page to suit your liking. So if we right click and we go to properties, we have all our choices. So we have window and graph. Window will be the where the window for our scale and our cursor value. Graph is everything in between. So double click, go black on the window, black on the graph. Well, we have a dark green intake trace back here. You won't be able to see that on the black background. So let's go ahead and double click on it. Um, we'll change it to red, then we'll change RPM to white. If you want to change the order of any of your channels, say battery voltage, we want to move it up. We select it. We come up here, we have two arrows that will allow us to shift it up or shift it down. Once we make all our changes and we get everything like we like, you come up here and we hit the green check mark to apply the changes and save everything. Now we have a black graph window. Another feature comes in handy is the zoom feature. Come down here, we have a bunch of different little zoom icons. But if you just come on the screen and right click, you'll notice we have all our same options. It's a lot quicker to get to. Um, so let's start out, we'll do a zoom box. Say you want to just pick a segment. So I come over here, put my mouse, I right click, I drag it, I resize the box, I release it, and I zoom. Now basically I've zoomed in and that jumps over to all my different graph tabs. So if I want to come over here, it shows me the exact same thing. Again, your cursor, if you set your cursor here at, at a certain time, it's the same in every window. So if you want to compare values back and forth, you can. So if we come back, we right click, so minimum zoom. And let's turn the channel browser off. We'll come up here, channel browser icon, makes our graph a little bigger, gives us more room on the screen. If, if you're at the racetrack or you, you have a data set or a group of data in a folder um, and you want to go to a previous run or say you're an early run and you want to go to a later run, you can actually come up here and use the little blue arrows. And it'll go previous lap, next lap. Um, so go previous, previous. There we have another one. So it's kind of handy. We don't have to do anything. We can jump. Now if it's not in the same folder, then we actually have to come over here and go to our data browser. Then we can jump to a whole nother folder, a whole nother racetrack, a whole nother vehicle. Um... Also, another handy little feature here. We're in a data browser. Say we this is the run we have open now. Maybe we want to compare it to that other run we were just looking at. So we got this run open here. Let's come down here. We highlight this one. We right click. We put add to comparison. Now if we double click on it, now we have both runs on one screen. We can actually compare all our values. Well, as you notice right off the bat, we have an issue here. We don't our runs don't actually start at the same time. Well, in this particular application, the best way to signal to start a run is with the clutch switch or two-step switch. Even. So you see both runs are quite a bit different. So we can come down here and we can use the shift function. When we press the shift function, we have shift a graph, which would shift a single graph, meaning it would shift a single red gear trace or white gear trace. Shift all graphs would actually shift 
every graph on the entire page from both runs. Shift the data set shifts the whole group of data from one run. So let's shift the data set. Um, let's grab the white one and drag it back to line up with the red. So again, we come down here and when this vertical line when the clutch switch is in line, that means the clutch switch release those two runs start at the same point. So let's right click, confirm shift, and now we can go over and view our data and compare two runs and figure out what went different from one run to the other, what was better from one run to the other, and what may have not been so good. Um, if you want to get out of this format, we go back to Open Data Browser, and then we just single click on whichever, or double click on whichever single run we would like to view. I hope this was helpful. Hope I've answered a few questions. Thank you for viewing our video and keep your eye out for future videos.